Hello everyone, and welcome to my forecast for the Southwest Indian Ocean cyclone season for Mauritius and the surrounding countries in the Southwest Indian Ocean Basin. Be sure to like and subscribe with notifications on so you're always alerted when a tropical update is released. On with the forecast. The Southwest Indian Ocean cyclone season runs from the 15th of November to the 30th of April, with the exception of Mauritius and the Seychelles, where it ends on the 15th of May. For the upcoming season, I am forecasting a slightly above average number of cyclones, with around 9 to 10 named storms forming. This is due to a number of factors, including a positive Indian Ocean dipole, which means that sea surface temperatures are warmer than average in the Western Indian Ocean and cooler than average in the Eastern Indian Ocean. This can create favorable conditions for cyclone formation. El Nino is also active in the Pacific Ocean. In the Southwest Indian Ocean, El Nino can also lead to increased cyclone activity by weakening the Walker circulation. The Walker circulation is a global atmospheric circulation system that involves the exchange of air between the tropics and the subtropics. During an El Nino event, the Walker circulation weakens, which can lead to an increase in rainfall in the Southwest Indian Ocean. This increased rainfall can create favorable conditions for cyclone formation. What to expect? The majority of cyclones that form in the Southwest Indian Ocean remain over the water and do not make landfall. However, some cyclones can do so, like in 2023 with the record-breaking cyclone Freddy. These landfalling cyclones can cause significant damage to coastal communities. The most likely time for cyclones to affect Mauritius is during the peak of the season, from January to March. However, cyclones can occur at any time during the season, so it is important to be prepared. How to prepare? There are a number of things you can do to prepare for the cyclone season. Make sure you have a plan in place for what to do in the event of a cyclone. This plan should include where you will go for shelter, how you will communicate with your family and friends, and what supplies you will need. Secure your home and property by trimming trees and shrubs, and clearing gutters and drains. Stock up on essential supplies, such as food, water, and medicine. Stay informed about the latest weather conditions and warnings. I hope this information is helpful. Please remember that the cyclone season is a time to be prepared, but it is also a time to be vigilant. If you see any signs of a cyclone, such as strong winds, high waves, or heavy rain, please take shelter immediately. As always, I will be here forecasting on all active and possible cyclones in the region that may impact you. Thank you for watching. See you all soon.